If you limit the American public's access to semi-automatic technology, you limit their ability to survive. Imagine we live in a city where children are dying of a ravaging infection. The good news is that its cause is well understood and its cure, an antibiotic, easily at hand. The bad news is that our city council has been taken over by a faith healing cult that believes the infections come from evil and will go to any lengths to keep the antibiotics from the kids. We will filibuster any legislation. We do live in such a city. More than 2,500 children and teens die annually from gun violence in the United States. The overwhelming majority of those children would be saved with effective gun control. We know this is so because in societies that have effective gun control, like Scotland, Australia, and Canada, children almost never die of gunshots. Let's worry tomorrow about the problem of evil. Let's worry more about making sure that when evil appears in a first grade classroom, it is armed with a penknife instead of a semi-automatic weapon. To make that happen may be hard, but there's no doubt or ambiguity about what needs to be done, nor that, if it is done, it will work.